All right, guys, so it's been close to two weeks since the release of Moonlight Cookie, and you guys might be wondering still, hey, Hyrule, is it possible for free-to-play players to obtain the pity copy of Moonlight Cookie? Let's get into it. Let me talk about how much you guys are exactly about to get and what you guys should be expecting as a free-to-play player. All right, guys, so I'm going to save all of you guys time if you guys do not want to watch the entire video. If you guys are free-to-play and you guys want to know the answer to if you guys can attain moonlight cookie by pulling 250 times in the moonlight gotcha you guys can't the short answer is you guys can't there is no way possible for you guys to get moonlight for free unless there's one chance unless dev sisters give out a event within the 33 days where you guys are able to get at least around 2,000 or 3,000 extra moon shards in order to pull on this gotcha if not then sorry guys you're going to be short around 20 pulls and you won't be able to get the pity copy of Moonlight and you'll have to pray to the RNG God in order to see if you guys can pull Moonlight through the actual gotcha. But if you guys want to stick around to watch the entire video and talk about what you guys can do to gain at least up to that much and where you guys can get it, then let's talk about it, guys. The first one, of course, is going to be from your event and it is going to be from the Moonlight Shard quest here, guys. So the total amount of Moonlight Shards you guys are able to get from this Constellation event, all right, that is one time. It's going to be 10,050, all right? It is pretty simple to do the math on this one because every single one of the, uh, you know, the quests within the Constellation is exactly worth the same amount. So every one-time thing, it's going to be worth 10,050 just from this. And then, of course, we do have 100 extra you are able to get daily plus the one you're able to get from the shop which is going to be 40 so every single day if you guys log in and do all your quests then it's going to be 140 of these shards equaling if you guys did it from day one total of 6440 because it totaled around 46 days so just from the two dailies all right as well as the constellation event you're about 16490 of the shards and on top of that we do get 2500 from the crunchy dreams as well as we do get a thousand from the second anniversary uh, login event. We also do get a thousand from the free to play basic reward for the Moonlight Pass. All right. And then also, if you guys didn't notice, there's a hundred of the Moonlight Shard here as well. And we do have about six seasons. So if you guys play the last season as well, then you should be able to get a total of 600 uh, from this K Count Frenzy event all right and on top of that if you guys do go to the k crumb shop then you're able to get an extra thousand from this it, it's going to be throughout the entire six or seven seasons all right so make sure to buy these all right once you guys are able to make sure to go and uh you know use your glowing anniversary k crumbs this is going to reset every single time you guys do have a new season but the shop itself is not going to refresh so you should be able to buy everything once again uh, except for two of them and that's going to be the radiant shards from what i want to recommend and i have a video on that so go and watch that as well all right and then of course uh the last thing here is going to be from this and it is going to be from the shop you guys are able to go down and you should be able to find the anniversary crystal shop here and you are able to buy five of these 140 of the moonlight shards but just keep in mind it does cost 3500 crystals which is a total of 17,500 crystals to buy 700 of these moonlight shards is it going to be worth your crystals that is going to depend on whether you really 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 want to have a chance of pulling moonlight or you just want to spend that crystal to do like i don't know 50 of the temples inside of a normal gacha it is going to be up to you but it is an option for you guys to actually get some more pulls within the moonlight gacha so with all of those combined, you're close to around 23,000 Moonlight Shards, equaling around 230 of these pulls. If you guys play from day one, if you guys didn't, then of course you're going to have a lot less because you did not take advantage of the daily login bonus as well as the daily Constellation, uh, you know, Shards that you're able to get. So you're going to be lacking a little bit more than the 23,000 Shards. But once again, free-to-play players are not going to be able to get the actual pity of moonlight cookie unless you guys are able to get some extra from either you pay for it by pulling out your credit card or whatever it is right i do want to make it clear that i am not forcing anybody to spend money on this game just to get a cookie all right just keep that in mind but if you guys do want to get those extra 20 pulls or so 
then you guys are going to have to purchase packs or you're going to have to pray that Dev Sisters do, you know, have a mix up here and there or they mess up on a maintenance or something like that, an update, and they give you guys those extra 20 to 30 pulls through a maintenance reward as a uh, apologem or apologizing, uh, you know, reward or through another event within the 33 days where you're able to get some more Moonlight Shards. But majority of the times, guys, for any of the Ancient and Legendary Banner, you know, you're not able to get a free pity copy. The only thing that actually allows you to get it it's going to be from the super epic banners, all right? I know it probably might have been a letdown for a lot of the free-to-play players, but this is how it's been. It's the trend. And also just want to uh, answer the questions that you guys had and also give a shout-out to Parkish, uh, who has actually messaged me on Discord and gave me a general idea of how much we're able to get, their calculations, and I did my calculation as well. And it was pretty similar, around 23,000 of these Moonlight Shards. So that's pretty much the baseline that we have for any of the day one players for this particular event. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys found the video helpful. Good luck with your gotcha. It hasn't been too good for me either, but hopefully your luck is better than mine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.